Yo, what is going on guys? We're back with another SnowRunner mod review and today we're going to check out the EV Tech 39294, also known as the Victoria 4x4 version. Instead of the 6x6, it is just the 4x4. I'm super excited to take this down, meet up with the other one, have them parked there. We might need them for later, but I'm excited to check this out because it's a little bit of a shorter wheelbase and we don't have... Uh, it's not a 6x6, it's going to drive different, hopefully. You know what to do, drop a like in the video, drop a sub on the channel guys, let's jump into it. Alrighty, time to build and customize the EV Tech 39294 4x4 edition, also known as the Victoria 4x4. Let's purchase and deploy it. Engine, we got the same engine options as last time. Gearbox, the same as last time. I want to try the fine tune. Suspension, same, same tire options. Um, the 50 Double Pro is looking nice on this. It doesn't look as beefy though at all. And I think it's because it doesn't have the 6x6 frame. Winch, we're going to go with the X Power 15, deflect engageable, no spare wheel, snorkel, tall front facing, frame add ons. We're not going to go with the roof rack this time. Got the small parking lights and the roof fog lights, front bumper. We're going to go with the EVT Guard 166, miscellaneous. I don't know. Okay. There we go. Rims. We're going to stick with the MD2s. And this time we're going to go with white and black. All right, let's pull it out and see what it could do, guys. All righty, let's start it up. Throw the all wheel drive on. Let's take a different pathway this time. We're going to come out here. We're going to take a different pathway. We're going to take the long way, technically. Um, we're going to have a mixture of pavement and dirt driving here. It'll be nice to meet up. It looks weird not being the 6x6 version. Okay. The double rears are really nice in the single version. It's cool. The space is going to be weird to get used to. Actually, <laughs> I just noticed this. It's a, I thought we were going to have a shorter wheelbase in the 4x4 version. We don't. They actually have the axle there. And the differential and drive shaft as if it was a 6x6. You know what would be cool is if, and I, I know SnowRunner's got us limited so we're not going to be able to, but it would actually be pretty cool, I think, if we were able to um, hop out of the truck and put on some wheels and activate that 6x6 or have a drop axle even. That would be actually pretty epic, I think. Obviously, it's not going to happen. That's okay. It is what it is, but it is pretty cool. Let's grab a nice photo here. It's a really nice photo spot and photo opportunity. And let's use the photo mode to actually zoom in here. So as you can tell, we've got the uh, differential there and the, and the drive shaft, like it's all set up completely. <laughs> uh, it's just missing the tires. That is crazy. It's interesting to see. I, I'm curious why it was left that way. I guess it was just a tweak and maybe that makes sense. Um, but it would be, I think it would just be awesome having a shorter wheelbase version of the Victoria for the 4x4. You know, I'm thinking like Jeep Wrangler size or Ford Bronco size. I think that would be pretty epic, but it is what it is. So suspension, this is what I'm kind of interested to see. The suspension, although it's only one option, it's not as close to the body. It's a little bit, I see, I feel, I feel like there's a little bit extra room there, all right? Um, but it's still super stiff. It would be cool if there was some suspension options added, maybe, you know, with the lift. Although I don't think a lift would look near as good as this version uh, on the 4x4 as it would the 6x6. Just because we got that dead empty space there. And you can tell that there's supposed to be something there. I'm actually surprised they're not turning. <laughs> But regardless, this is still pretty cool so far. Um, fuel consumption is reasonable. We did a slight adjustment with the transmissions, but overall it's pretty good. It 
it still doesn't seem tipsy or anything. It surprisingly, honestly, it seems almost as balanced as the Victoria six by six. We're not getting stuck, so the the dual rear is uh, helping quite a bit there, I think. Especially as we're kind of treachering through different ranges of mud terrain here. It's kind of a weird adjustment driving uh, in high gear in even a tweet truck and just not eating. Because <laughs> a lot of the mods, when you're in high gear, you eat, and it makes sense because high gear goes up to 80 kilometers an hour. It's safer, ideal to drive up to 80 kilometers an hour in high gear, but it is uh, definitely interesting to see how that fares out here in SnowRunner. And that is the mud portion. One of the things I always loved about the ER is how well it handled on the actual road. I'm going to hit this full speed, see if we take any damage, because it's a bit of a pothole. We did bog down and downshift, though. Nothing crazy, and uh, we didn't take damage, probably because it slowed us down. Uh, but the ER, not only does it handle incredibly well on the mud, it handles really good on the pavement. I kind of always saw the ER, especially early on, as a really good recovery vehicle. Um, and if you have a really good recovery vehicle slash scout, it's even better, uh, in my opinion, when you have a mod for it, um, especially this 6x6 or 4x4 version, because really a lot of people think like tweaking is just a lazy way of modding and contributing, but it's really not. Uh, in my opinion, when there is substantial tweaks made to the mods, they help out in a way that doesn't make anything overly OP, but uh, really at the end of the day just kind of makes a vanilla truck somewhat useful. A lot of the vanilla trucks, in my opinion, when Snow Runner release them, especially like as you're starting out your campaign, you don't have much money, um, they make the game, even on like an, a lower difficulty, uh, they make the game really hard to play, especially for somebody that doesn't have hours to grind. So if you don't have Kind of time you need to grind uh, vanilla trucks make it difficult obviously modded trucks kind of get the job done a little bit faster and reduce the risk of getting stuck there is the six by six version same uh, chassis frame and wheel base as you can tell here side by side just without the extra tire um, and there's definitely more clearance between the wheels but you know what to do guys drop a like on the video drop a sub on the channel we'll catch you with the next one